Jeff Harding here with PS Tech and Stress Be Gone. You just went through, hopefully, session two of Stress Be Gone, also known as how to eliminate stress for the holidays, but of course it can be used for stressful issues, whether they're holiday related or not. In this section, we're giving you a little bonus. Let's call it session 2A. And the reason for that was when Tim and I originally did the recordings for Stress Be Gone, PS Tech Negative didn't exist. Since then, he recorded and released PS Tech Negative as a package. It's an essential. If you're using PS Tech for more than a free package to do some emotional work, but you really want to get to the beliefs, which I recommend, of course, you have PS Tech Positive, but you also want to add PS Tech Negative. Now, basically, PS Tech Negative greases the skids for the intentions you set with PS Tech Positive. We talked about that in the original session, too that you already listened to about setting those intentions with PS Tech Positive. So what we want to do is add a step just before that. Because what you're doing with PS Tech Positive is addressing a negative belief you have by overlaying PS Tech Positive on that and having it basically overtake the old one. And a lot of times that can work just plainly as it is like that. But sometimes the negative belief is so strong that it's very difficult for the positive to land well. And when it does, it might take more repetition. So when we use PS Tech negative first before we do the positives and address the negative belief, it erases that negative belief because the purpose of PS Tech negative is to allow you to remove any and all unwanted programming, whether consciously remember, remembered or not. Now, in essence, what you're doing is rather than writing over your positive intention over the negative one, you're erasing first the negative one and then writing over the positive one. So think about that. Sometimes when we write over things that are negative, or previously with something that we prefer, it's not always that clear, right? Because the old one's still trying to shine through. It just depends how dark and thick and heavy it is. So if it's <laughs> this old negative belief is written in permanent marker, really thick point, you know, and you try and write it over with a positive, it doesn't work that well. But if you can erase it, it's going to make it so much easier, and that's what this is about, to make this easier when you, when you follow up with PS Tech Positive. So I'm not going to go through how to use PS Tech Negative in detail because that's in the package, in the tutorial. So of course you have that reference. Also, there is a video that's available before you purchase that you can check out and see how PS Tech Negative fits in with the other main essential PS Tech tools such as the click tracks and PS Tech Positive. So on the screen here is a link you can get to that, to that webinar, to that recording, and you can kind of see how PS Tech Negative works in a broad stroke fashion. But of course, with the details, you want to go to the actual tutorial that comes in with PS Tech Negative that Tim put together. PS Tech Negative, like I said, is in essence is a, is a belief eraser. When we originally did session two and session one, uh, we surveyed a lot of the PS Tech users and said, what's, what's the problem with the holidays? You know, what don't you like about it? And that's where we got a lot of these questions and these thoughts. And address those with the emotional issues in session one, which you went through hopefully. Of course you did, right? And then session two, which in regards to beliefs and whatnot, which of course you did as well, right? This is an added one that even though it's a 2A, it kind of goes before two in a way, but we're right in the middle there somewhere. So again, you want to use the PS Tech negative before the positive. So what I've done here, again, I'm not going into details on how to use PS Tech negative, but I want to show you some things on how to target using these same subjects that were brought up on the original Stress Be Gone webinar from, from the PS Tech users. So this first one you see listed as, I keep getting uptight. Somebody asked that question, you know, how do I keep from getting so uptight around the holidays? Now in there, you can see this is getting close to a core belief because it says I, it's that I am aspect. This is who I am. I'm a person that gets uptight. Now you can use PS Tech Negative on that directly. But what I recommend is to, and this is true of everything, when you're looking at beliefs, is to look a more, little, more, little more deeply. Now, also with a caveat, when you're looking at beliefs, don't just take a list of other people's beliefs and think, I just need to PS Tech negative other people's beliefs. That could work on some level, but you could have beliefs that are specifically worded different ways, substantially, and you're not going to be addressing them. It's really important to look for the beliefs as they come from your mind, from your subconscious. That's going to make your PS Tech work more efficient and more effective. So getting back to I keep getting uptight, that's more of a behavior. Does that make sense? It's not so much a statement of what I am, per se, as much as what I do. When I see behaviors 
and sometimes behaviors can be core as well, but quite often behaviors behind behaviors are other reasons for getting uptight, so to speak, like in this example. So it could be being around the family, could be the stress of buying things, having to spend money you don't have, don't think you have, don't want to spend, <laughs> et cetera, et cetera. The crowds, you know, all that kind of stuff. You know, I always recommend that you look more for the for the core belief. And again, Tim goes into this quite a bit of detail in the PS Tech Negative tutorial on looking for core beliefs, finding core beliefs, and applying PS Tech Negative to those core beliefs versus just the ancillary branches or the ones that are caused by the core beliefs. Another one is that came out quite often was I always get sick the first few days of the holidays. Again, according to some of the basic rules, this is kind of long to be a core belief, most likely. Now, again, you can always PS Tech negative something that's not real at the foundational core of something. It's just that when we when we do PS Tech negative on the core beliefs, we're going to be more effective, more efficient. So consider looking at why you get sick around the holidays. What is your mind seeing in the holidays, in that time of year, that's causing the mind to trigger and go, okay, we... You know, our defenses aren't good enough. Our immune system's not strong enough to fight this off is maybe one aspect. And so we're going to go ahead and get sick. Maybe getting sick is a reason or an excuse to do or not do something. Look for the core beliefs that are surrounding that and that causing the sickness. But again, you can address this directly with PS Tech Negative, such as saying, I always get sick at the... Um, I always get sick at the holidays. You can PS Tech negative that and then follow up with PS Tech positive, something on, on along the lines of, uh, I never get sick. <laughs> My immune system's incredible. My immune system fights off everything because that's what it was built for. So again, you, you would do the PS Tech negative, then follow up with a PS Tech positive on your intention. The next one here on this screen is when my family visits, especially with young ones, the noise, the mess, the chaos, that'll be stressful. Number one, this is far too long to be a PESTEC negative, in part because there's several different aspects here. There's the family, there's the young ones, there's the noise, there's the mess, there's the chaos. Now, some of these may be combined, but I would look at them individually and see what's most upsetting and begin to go at the ones that are top of the list. So let's say you come up with, you know, something's really bothering me, it's the noise. You know, I hate loud noises. You can address that with PS Tech Negative. I hate loud noises. Now, you may be led back to, because I've seen this before, to an emotional beginning when you were a child, you know, when you were young, that loud noises just seemed to, you know, really tweak to you. <laughs> so, again, never let go of the use of the click tracks for emotional reasons. If emotional reasons come up as you delve into these negative beliefs, click track those, no, those, those emotions, those negative emotions, address the negative belief. I hate loud noises. PS Tech negative with that. Positive. When I hear loud noises, I'm calm and confident. Loud noises don't bother me. Those kind of PS Tech positives to follow up on the negative. Again, when we do the negative first, kind of clears the way, greases skids for PS Tech positive as we follow up with our intention. On this next one, you see I blank my relatives. Now, <laughs> that could be anything, okay? It could be, and I think the original was, I, I don't remember if it was I hate my relatives or it was something pretty strong. Again, you can PS Tech negative this directly, or you might look at the reasons why there's such hatred, disdain, dislike, you know, whatever the word is, what, what that might be. And then you can follow up with a positive along, along this theme. That, you know, when, when you begin to erase the negative about, you know, not liking somebody, you can then do the positive and say, I accept this person as, as they are. You could even say, I love them, if you want. Or, I love my relatives unconditionally. My relatives are doing the best they can. You know, and you can begin to create new perspectives on these kind of aspects. But, again, addressing the negative first is going to be, I'm not going to say paramount, but sometimes it can be paramount. Because without erasing that, it's the repetition on a PS Tech positive to overcome the negative can be, difficult for most people. So when we erase it on some, it may finally make it possible to get to, to make the positive effective, truly effective. And for those that can be overcome, maybe they're not quite as strong, it can definitely make it so much easier to do the positive.
All right, one of my sisters has terminal cancer. How does, how does a family deal with this? Well, again, look at how you feel about this issue and the parts that are really difficult, the beliefs. There might be a belief that says, I can't live without my sister or another family member. Take a look at that belief. And while I'm not trying to make light of somebody passing or potentially passing, we do have to reconsider our beliefs about can't live without someone. I'll be devastated if that happens. You know, where someone goes into, and, and I'm not talking about eliminating grieving necessarily, or there's some sadness or there's a void, you know, that you need to adjust to. But, for example, somebody really getting depressed for years and years and years after someone passes away. And also, you don't know if they're going to pass away necessarily. You're going to be the best resource for that person if you're at peace, if you're calm, if you're confident. That's when you're going to offer the most resources. So consider looking at those aspects of how you would like to, you know, what's your intention of dealing with something like this. And again, PSDEC negative can be a great help. The bottom one on this page, I can't sleep during stressful times. Yeah, you could probably address that with PSDEC negative. I can't sleep during stressful times. You might want to look at what the stressful times are. Is it a pattern, something you're seeing regularly? What do those stressful times entail? I can't sleep during the holidays, maybe. Take a look at those. See if there's something more core. If you don't come up with something more core for some reason, go ahead with what you have. Quite often, a core one might even be taken care of with that. You never know. But it may also lead you to the core, and you may find out what that is, and then you can address that. I resent that I'm the one who does everything. A little long here, probably not a core belief, but the resentment is something that you can address. This could be a little more complex in terms of what the motivations for all this is and what's going on, so it's hard to really comment on this per se, but look at the reasons why you resent it. You might also look at the reasons why you're doing everything or you feel you're doing everything. Maybe there's somebody in the family or somebody, you know, a friend or whatever that really doesn't seem to do much. Look and center in on that person. Click track the emotions you feel about seeing them as you see them doing nothing. Maybe they are, maybe they aren't doing nothing. But click track your feeling on how you perceive it. And then look, if see if the beliefs are still there. See if you have a different perception of this person. When our emotions are high, our clarity is going to be lower in general. Click track it. Neutralize the emotions. Take another look at it. See what you think about these people and what's going on. If you're doing things around the holidays or any time, you want to be able to do things in peace. You want to feel not necessarily that you're appreciated by the other people, because if, if that's the case as well, you may be in for a rude awakening sometimes. Some people just don't express it, and some aren't that grateful. We need to look at why we're doing what we're doing so that we can find peace in it. And we, we can quite often serve people that don't seem grateful but still feel fulfilled. Okay, you follow me on that? So take a look at that one. Like I said, that one can be a little more complex, a little more deep, if you will. But look for the core beliefs on what's going on and address them with PS Tech Negative. I am anxious when I travel during the holidays. Again, you can address this, you know, as it is. Uh, when I travel, I get anxious. And you may have to look at why that is. Could it be because it's specifically the weather? In other words, when it rains, I really, you know, I tend to really get nervous versus when it's dry or when it's cloudy. You know, the least bit cloudy, I start getting nervous. Take a look at that. See what's linked up. Click track the emotions and then see what beliefs are held in there. I feel guilty not spending enough on presents. This is a great illustration because quite often people will look at that and go, well, I feel guilty not spending enough on presents, so I'll just click track the guilt and that's it. Okay, there, yes, there could be some guilt that is produced or triggered by a set of events or a pattern, but is supported, more importantly, by a belief that says, if I don't spend enough, then I need to feel guilty. I should feel guilty. So when you can begin to discern true emotional reactions versus beliefs stating an emotion, you're going to get real far with this. And you can address, you can address these negative beliefs. So perhaps the belief is, if I don't spend enough on people, I, I feel guilty. Boom. PS Tech negative. Now, there could be reasons for that, other core ones, such as I need their approval, uh, I need their acceptance, you know, etc. So you want to look at those as well. 
but you can PS take a negative something like that and then follow up with the positive. I only spend as much as I can, f can afford and I, because I feel at ease with that. Consider those, okay? Be at peace with what you're doing. I can't enjoy food as much without indulging. Again, some great PS Tech negatives that you can address here, but follow up with the positive. So I'm not saying PS Tech negative replaces the positive by any stretch. Use PS Tech negative to remove the negative belief that's there. Use PS Tech positive to install a new belief, a new intention. So that's just a, a brief overview on some aspects you can target, what to look for. Again, not real specific, but I want you to be specific as you look within your own subconscious, within your own mind, within your own experiences. What phrases and self-talk are, are coming up? Those are the kind of things that really reveal our, our negative beliefs, our negative thoughts, our negative conclusions, definitions. And we can address those with PS Tech Negative and like wipe the slate clean and make it so much easier to write to that new slate as you wish using PS Tech Positive for example or just with your own intentions. So we wanted to add that in here for Stress Be Gone to utilize PS Tech Negative if you have it already pull it out of your toolbox and add it into this sequence. If you don't have it yet look on the sidebar here or somewhere on this page you'll find some links to PS Tech Negative and you can get that package and get rolling right away on erasing that nasty stuff. Thanks for joining me for this little bonus. I appreciate it. Take good care and keep clicking. Aloha.